From the newsroom today, well, Sonia Kruger may have won the gold Logie, but the night belonged to Sam Pang. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's just great to have an Asian on Channel 7. <laughs> who isn't trying to smuggle live birds through border security. <laughs> The first solo host in 11 years, he received rave reviews as he delivered a series of killer jokes about the Australian TV industry. Up for the most popular entertainment program is The Voice, despite Peter Dutton's strong opposition to the nomination. <laughs> the search continues for the bodies of four Australian Defence Force personnel who were on board a helicopter that crashed on Friday. They were flying in a training exercise as part of the International War Games when their chopper crashed in waters near Hamilton Island. The Army's entire Taipan helicopter fleet has been grounded pending an investigation. Rugby league legend Wally Lewis has revealed a heartbreaking health diagnosis. There's the big one. I can't even remember the name of what it's called. Probable CTE. Probable. Um, yeah, CTE. CTE is a form of dementia likely caused by repeated head injuries. At least 44 people were killed and more than 100 injured after a suicide bombing in Pakistan. It happened at a political rally in the northwest of the country. And a former Married at First Sight contestant is facing drug trafficking charges after police allegedly found $90,000 worth of meth in his home. Seb Gilhouse, who appeared on the reality show back in 2020, was arrested in Adelaide on Friday and will appear in court later this week.